Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to school. Hi, Mr. Presley here with you on this magnificent Monday for learning. Happy Monday. Today is Monday, November 15th, 2021. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. Uh, boy, has it been wild and windy and wet weather we've been having? It sure has. Hopefully today we'll get a little bit of a break from it and be able to get, be able to get outside for our recess times. Hey, as you get started on this magnificent Monday, you notice, look, checking out the yearbook. I love the yearbook. So this is last year's yearbook. Look at that cover. Isn't that cool? And look on the back are some of the other drawings that kids have done. Hey, you know what? It's that time of year. It's time for the yearbook cover contest. That's right. Starting today, what we'd like for you to do is think about your own drawing for our Freiland's yearbook cover. Um, we love for all the students from transitional kindergarten, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, and fifth graders, everybody to take a regular copy size piece of paper and you create your own drawing and your own yearbook cover. And you can see our winner from last year and you can see some of our students who participated whose uh, picture was not picked for the cover but was still on the yearbook. But guess what? The yearbook cover contest goes for three weeks starting today. We want you to use a lot of color. Obviously, we want to say Freilands on it. This one says Freilands Elementary. Have the school year. And once you've done your cover, we want you to put your name and your teacher's name on the back and turn it into the office. The winner of the yearbook cover contest gets a free yearbook. So keep that in mind. This is last year's um, awesome pictures, all of them, even on the back. These are great pictures. It's hard to pick. It really is. So that's how many great, young, creative people we have at our school. So I hope you think about joining and doing the yearbook cover contest, all right? Pretty cool. I love uh, our yearbook every year. And so our winner gets a free one. Hey, you know what? We have one birthday to announce today. Happy birthday to Damian Flores Martinez. Happy birthday, Damian. You can come on down and pick out of the birthday bucket today. How cool is that? Hey, also boys and girls, you know, we started talking yesterday about our feeling, or yesterday, last week about our feelings. And on our second step, we're talking about being able to name those. And I want you this week to be thinking about stopping and naming your feelings. Because sometimes when we have feelings, we have strong feelings. Like we're super agitated or mad. Those are strong feelings that we can have. Um, whenever you have strong feelings, I want you to stop and think about getting your body back in control. Because when we're not in control, we start doing things impulsively. That means without thinking. And then sometimes um, we do that without that control and we do something that we later regret doing. Maybe we end up uh, hitting out at people. Maybe we end up saying things that we regret later. So what I want you to do is stop and name your feelings and think about this. We did this last week. We stopped to name however we're feeling right now. But when you have strong feelings, it's really important to stop and get back in control of yourself. And you do that by calming down. So one thing that I want you to think about this week is a stop signal for yourself. So when you feel yourself getting frustrated and so mad that you're going kind of out of control for yourself, you need to calm back down and that starts with a stop signal. So what kind of signal can you give yourself? Come up with your own signal. Maybe it may be that you say the word relax, relax just relax to yourself. Or maybe you say, hey, chill, chill. It's gonna be okay, chill. Just stay calm, stay calm. What is your signal? So people have different signals. You can ask your friends, you can ask your parents, your teacher. You can ask people, what is their signal when they're getting kind of upset and, and raising up to where they're starting to get a little bit maybe out of control and they're gonna end up saying or doing something they regret later. So we all have strong feelings. When you have those strong feelings, I want you to stop and think of how you can get back in control of yourself and your body by calming down. And that starts with a stop signal, okay? So keep that in mind. Hey, boys and girls, we're in the middle of November, right? There's lots of turkeys around, lots of turkeys around. I hope you're looking for those turkeys as I am too. Um, let's have a great day of learning and a great week of learning. We got lots of fun and exciting things going on. And remember, sometimes learning is hard. It's okay for it to be a little hard. So if it's a little hard, I want you to just think about, I can do this, I can do this. 
and I just need to focus my attention for a little while and practice and really think and think and think. Remember, if uh, you're learning something, it is going to be hard. If you already know it, it's easy, right? So when you know something, you're like, oh, I know that, that's easy. But when you don't know something, that's when it's hard. So you have to think about it. Sometimes things are gonna be hard in life and in school, and those are those things you're learning. So learning is hard, it's hard work. So work hard today, do your best at all times, and always remember, your Freiland's family cares about you. Teachers, please lead those wonderful students in the Pledge of Allegiance. Go Falcons, it's a great day to be a Falcon, have fun.